Hey guys, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We're here, and we are talking about the knife. Yes, the tip of the knife that was found inside the victim's body. Phoenix don't normally talk like that. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, but what does this mean? Come on, we don't need to spell out for your judge. The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is that the witness's memory is mistaken. That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she was remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at the time, but she was sure. But she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Yet, oh, not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already about a little something called falsified evidence? You're trading on thin ice, White. All I'm saying is that this broken knife might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. Yeah. Order, order, order. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon Gant. Oof, this guy is so creepy. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm? I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Darts? Could there have been one? Could there have been one? I think there is another one. I don't think Emma's mistaken. No, no, no. If that witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't just be explained away by simple observation or error. That's right. In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume, then, that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. It's so serious. The tone is so serious right now. Gosh dang. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. Here's a real murder weapon. It's so tempting just to click this because it's already like the sharpest knife in the evidence thing. Screwdriver. Is it? No, that doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. Could it be the trophy? Because this trophy had a knife on it too, didn't it? Uh, then this guy banded it. Can't banded it. Is that the word I should use? Banded it? He, he said no more. Oh, there's a boss and there's a there's a um, knight guy. This cute little bunch because one's like a like how the dress. I like it. Okay, anyways, um, maybe he could take the knife from there and then use it. Let's present it. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside the picture. This is a picture of the war ceremony. Ah! What is it, Mr. Edge? What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the, the broken murder weapon. Notice the ward prosecutor Marshall's holding? Is that really detachable, though? Or did he, like, just take the whole entire thing? That's a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the picture was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was, in all likelihood, this award. Hmm, okay. Order, order, order! Neil Marshall was awarded King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and a broken knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in a dangerous situation. That's true, I can not think he is a de um, detective, I think because his brother. But that, that can't be. Oh, why not, Mr. Edgeworth? 
because if the king of prosecutors wore a knife was a murder weapon, then the murder and the victim would be reversed. What do you mean? I mean, this man raising a knife would have been prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said oh the right way. I think it is. But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? It seems Miss Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. <laughs> oh, looks like it is all of us at the hands of Emma. Wait, I, I remember now. I remember everything. Witness. Miss Edgeworth. What is it? I think I reversed voices. Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture scribbled in the back? E. <laughs> the blue badger. I knew it. This picture. I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that? That's right. The list wasn't torn in half at the time I drew this picture. E. I like the music. Hee <laughs> hee. I like how you can see that it was actually folded too, like, you know, like the diagonally. All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have flocked this part away deep inside me. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness testimony. Would you please tell us what you recalled, Miss Guy? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix up and now the blue badger? This should be interesting. <laughs> Yay, some sense of humor. Although, I don't feel happy when Emma doesn't feel happy. Ah, oh, my heart. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed towards both of them. I think I, I knocked away the man with the knife. Just then, there was another flash of lightning, and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. <laughs> uh, this, this is certainly most unusual. I love the judge's face. Try impossible. The head detective of criminal affairs didn't even design him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, the defense may now begin his cross-examination. Stop, please. Don't pursue this any further. Oh my gosh, what the funk is happening? Lana, what's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave that at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. We've already come this far. It's too late to turn back. Silence. The defense will now begin its cross examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. I have a bad feeling about this because she says she ran at them, right? So if, um,. Neil was actually holding the knife and she ran at them. Maybe she pushed him and then he accidentally stabbed himself. But she only ran into because she didn't want anyone to get stabbed, so hopefully that's not it. Or if so, then she doesn't get in trouble, I hope. I hope my heart doesn't break from this. Oh, my heart. When I saw that man raise his knife... She... Well, let's make it clear that she doesn't know which man. When you say that man, I assume you refer to Joe Dark? Yes, at least I think it was him. You think? I don't think it was. All I could really see were shadows. Power out outage that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's office reports. So then you... I panic and rush towards both of them. Why would you do something so dangerous? What else could I have done? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When that dark guy knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help Mr. Marshall. That changes things a bit. I think I, I knocked away the man with the knife. What do you mean, you think? It, it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything, clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. In a matter of just a few seconds, Miss Guy was almost killed. Then she witnessed a murder about to take place. A little disorientation is only natural. 
I saw the man about to stab the other person who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stab the man with the knife. What you did was very brave, young girl. So then what happened next? <laughs> so what happened next? Just then there was another flash of lightning and that's when I saw the blue badger. Are you sure about this? <laughs> of course, see? I even drew a picture of him here. But the head detective of criminal affairs thought of this hideous beast. <laughs> thought of thought <laughs> oh, so mean. He's so mean in a classy way, it's hilarious. And that was just this year. The blue badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I had seen him before somewhere. I think I think she did actually, when we first saw it. Now I finally remember. Oh brother. Just when you thought that things had caused enough commotion. Tell us, where in the room did you see him dancing? He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. His shadow? So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? <laughs> That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. <laughs> creepy horns. This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh, and I suppose you have an explanation? If so, then by all means, please tell us what this shadow really was. What was it Emma saw? What was it Emma saw that was lightning flash? Who is this blue badger really? Emma's an enigma. You know what I think it is? I actually think it's this. The vase. Because it has three things, you know? It's so weirdly shaped. I came up calling it a vase. They call it a jar. I think it was this, what she saw. I think this actually is what fell. <gasps> oh, hold the phone. I think she pushed Neil into this. This broke into Neil. Uh, then... Maybe that's what um, Lana doesn't want to people find out is that Emma did it, but then Emma doesn't want to get in trouble. But then Gant found out and he just abused the entire situation completely. I think that's what happened. Wait, well, where are we? What am I doing here? Okay, that's what I'm doing. Uh, who is really the Blue Badger really? I just might know. I think that's it. I think... I think just like the knife. Someone pulled it out and then put the knife in there so that it framed it. Okay, the blue badger hadn't even been dreamed up because this game has like a lot of repeating themes, but it's, it's great that way. It's brilliant. Dreamed up when Emma drew this picture. Yet yeah, she's certain she saw a shadow. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the fence belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. That's right. In this room? Very well, Miss Wright. What is it that witness saw in that instant? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look like. I actually have a blue badger right here, but it's not in the room. Oh, it's 13 minutes left. Okay guys, I'm just gonna end it here. Thanks for watching and until next time. I'm gonna try this. I think it'll work. But we'll see. Tune in next time. See ya. Nani?